Hey everybody, it's Dr. Alan Grant. And Dr. Ian Malcolm. Here with All Ears. Just kidding guys, it's Molly and Quincy. We're undercover. We are here at Disney Springs about to go eat dinner at T-Rex. So this restaurant is not typically one of the most recommended options. There's a lot of great places to eat in Disney World, but it does have animatronic dinosaurs. So we're here to find out, is it worth it? Should you come to T-Rex? Who should come to T-Rex? Should anyone come here? We're, we're gonna, gonna find out. It's gonna be Dino Might. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna dig it. Oh, they're still going. Oh yeah. It's gonna be T-Rexable. How many, what? All right, <laughs> let's see, go eat. Okay. <laughs> they send you a $25 coupon that you can use at a restaurant. Basically think basic American fare, but surrounded by dinosaurs like this guy. We're about to go to our table and wow, look at this place. We're gonna eat in, like, that's inside a dinosaur. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, but I think the way I feel is excited. Yeah, and actually I've decided that I think that, um, Clearly, the people who built T-Rex uh, were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. Cheers, Cheers. to Chaos Theory and Velociraptors moving. And Mr. DNA. And John Hammond. And Mathematics. To sparing no expense. Yes, to sparing no expense. <laughs> okay, so for my drink, I got a cotton teeny, which is well named for being made of cotton candy and it's also kind of a martini. This one is the tropical cotton teeny, so it's Don Q coconut rum and tropical fruit juices in that T-Rex shaker. And then you pour it on top of the cotton candy and the waitress can do it for you if you ask them to or you can do it. I want to do it because that sounds fun. And then it dissolves the cotton candy and becomes one beautiful, apparently very sweet drink, and I'm interested to see how it tastes. So a plot twist, my cotton teeny is green now, but it's actually got like an ombre thing going on with blue down in there. I'm curious. Trying out my surprisingly green cotton teeny. Tropical cotton teeny. Okay. This is kind of good, kind of good. I wasn't expecting to like this because um, cotton candy is sugar, and it's just it's just blue melted sugar. But it's kind of fire. It's like you taste a regular old like tropical fruit juice run drink, and then if you stick your straw down deep enough, you get a shot of like you know when you hold cotton candy for too long and it gets all weird and melty and sticky in your hands, but it tastes really good. And it gets a darker color. That's what your that's what the bottom tastes like, and it's kind of a delicious combination. Very sweet. If you don't like sweet drinks, please do not get this. You will regret it. But if you don't mind a sweet drink, and actually even if you're like me and you can tolerate a sweet drink, you might want to try this. It's super fun. Pouring it was super fun, and it literally has a shot of amazing sugary goodness at the bottom. You can even see it. So I am surprised by how much I like this actually. Although I think that I probably am going to get a sugar headache from it. I am trying this fancy concoction called the El Dorado. It's got Patron orange and then a South Seas blend of syrups, juices, and then it's got this little baby Captain Morgan on the top that will just work its way into the cocktail as you go. So full disclaimer. I normally eat drinks at restaurants like this because they're all so sickly sweet and I don't really care for sugary drinks. I've said that time and time again. Um, and this is probably about as sweet as I can handle. It does have the orange and I do like the flavor orange quite a bit. So I think that's helping me that it's not something super, super sweet like a watermelon or a berry. And I can definitely taste the alcohol, but it's not overwhelming. So I think 
It's good. It's fun. I mean, it's fun to have this little Bay Bay Captain Morgan in there. Yeah, orange is definitely the strongest flavor. It's watered down a little bit. The ice is melted, so it's not super strong tasting, but obviously it has alcohol in it. There's literally Captain Morgan right there. Is this the best cocktail I've ever had in Disney Springs? But did I expect it to be? Also, no. This is a chain restaurant that's dinosaur themed. So, most likely, if you're here, you're a parent because your kids want to come here. And I think this will help you enjoy it even more. So, to start off our meal, we decided to get the Super Saurus Sampler, which serves four or two really hungry doctors, one paleontologist and one mathematician. mathematician chaos, chaos theorist. Chaos theorist. We're hungry. We've worked up a colossal appetite being out in the park, you know? Um, so with the Supersaurus Sampler, you get cheesy skillet meatballs, Nashville hot boneless wings right here. Looks like those came with some onion straws, actually. A little chili con queso, a caprese flatbread, chicken T-Rexadillas, and like bonus garlic bread. So let's go. All right, oh, yeah. time to dig in. Queso first. Well, it's the most magical place. You're gonna write the Why? What did you just say that? You know? It's the most magical place on earth, right? You read that. That tastes exactly like you expected to. It tastes like basic queso. Nothing bad about it, but nothing great about it. it. Tastes like cheddar. There's a little tiniest bit of heat from these peppers in here. It says chili con queso, and I don't see any chili or much heat. I wish I had more heat. But that said, I'm going to eat a lot of this because I love all this stuff. Things are going well. <laughs> There's tomato in my hair. Um, this is delicious. I love um, caprese salad. Sometimes I buy cherry tomatoes and mozzarella and just eat them with my hands with also basil and uh, balsamic vinaigrette, but it's a common occurrence. But this is um, this is great. It's all neatly on a flatbread instead of just rolling around in my hands. Um, and the flatbread is nice and crisp. Honestly, I would like this as just an appetizer by itself, I'm sure, which you can get, as you can with pretty much every everything on them. That's actually got a lot of good flavor. Basic, simple. But the pico in there is a nice touch. I do like this like swizzle of, swizzle of guacamole on top. Mm -hmm. This pleases me. Yeah. I'm going meatball. I'm gonna eat it with my hands. This tastes exactly like the crock pot meatballs your cousin brings to Christmas. Yeah. Um, and I'm not complaining because I do go in on the crock pot meatballs. Um, there's not a lot of like special seasoning or, or any kick to them really. It's just kind of a classic meatball, but I mean, I like that meatballs are an option in general. It's a good texture. It's mm -hmm. moist. I'm dipping mine in the case. It is a good texture. It's very like, it's got a little bit of crunch on the outside from just the cooking that happened. But um, it's, a, it's a tasty meatball. It's not my favorite thing I've eaten yet, but. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm, I'm gonna try the wing. These are like little babies. They're boneless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually does have heat. National hot. Wow. Most food at Disney World does not have any meat, and it actually does. Now, I'm not a huge boneless wing fan. I prefer like eating like an animal. But those actually have a lot of good flavor. Those might be my favorite thing so far because they actually have some good heat, and it's not just heat for heat's sake. It actually had a little bit of flavor too. So yeah, I like those. Little onion strings yeah, I like those. Yeah. That, those are good. Yeah. Alright, and lastly this surprise fun cheesy 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 garlic toast. Definitely cheesy garlic toast. Yep. And I don't think you can do cheesy garlic toast wrong. The toast is literally like soaked in butter, which um I'm a fan of. I'm gonna if you don't want your appetizer soaked in butter then then, then maybe this isn't for you, but if you do, can you go wrong? Overall, I think my favorite was the wing. My least favorite might have been the queso, shockingly. What about you? My favorite has to be 
know, I thought I was gonna say the Caprizi flatbread, but I think it's the wing also because it was just one. It was it's a it's a little baby boo in the swing that you can just pop in your mouth, which was satisfying. And two, it has real heat, which I covet here in Disney World. Second best Caprizi, just sh shout out Caprizi. But I think my least favorite was probably the meatball. Just because I make crap pot meatballs like once a week. And you can get a lot better meatballs in Disney Springs, Enzo's, yeah. Wine Bar George. Yeah. Um, but overall, nothing on this plate was like shockingly amazing. Best food you ever eaten. But it's on par with what I expected. And it's better than appetizers I've had at Rainforest Cafe. So. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. So far, so good. All right. So, Dr. Alan Grant and I have decided to share after our feast of an appetizer sampler. And we got this prehistoric pasta, which is pretty much a fettuccine alfredo with tomatoes and mushrooms. And we added chicken, but you can also add shrimp. So, looks pretty basic, but we'll see how it tastes. All right, it's pasta time. Dr. Alan Grant is ready for pasta time. It tastes like, have you been to Olive Garden? Because that's what it tastes like. Fettuccine Alfredo is good, just objectively. Yeah, creamy, cheesy, cheesy pasta. What's not to like? This um, does taste like the canned pine from the store. The chicken is, um, in, in my opinion, on the dry side. I don't know if yours was, but that big old bite that I just took, a lot of that chewing was very dry chicken, and I wanted to take a sip and drink after. You know how I knew it wasn't going to be that good? How did you know? Because when we said, we'd like the pasta, is that good? The waitress goes, it's very popular. She said a lot of people do order that. She did not answer. She didn't answer. say it's good, so that's how you know. Yeah. I do like that it does have mushrooms and tomatoes in it, which yeah, I'm, I'm a mushrooms gal. Me too. And tomatoes in a creamy pasta. Yeah. That's the bomb. It sounds like it would be amazing. Yeah, it's okay. It's missing a lot. There's not a ton of flavor. No, it's it's on the bland side. Although I will say, if you're a picky eater, this is this is perfect. I've seen some pretty good looking like burgers and sandwiches go by, so I feel like you may be safer with something like that. Yeah. But just as I was disappointed last time I went to Rainforest Cafe, just knowing that this was like a twenty-something dollar pasta dish, knowing what I could buy for twenty-something dollars out in Disney Springs, literally steps away from where we are. Morimoto, homecoming, Haleo. If you want Italian, terralina has got some really good pasta. Yeah. Wine Bar George, Boathouse, like some of the best food in Disney World and like literally the world is here. Right, right here, and we're in the Sea Rex, you know, eating this bland Alfredo that cost us the amount that some of those amazing dishes would cost us. But let's also remember, you're not paying to come here because of the food. You're no. you're here for these guys. All right, our dessert has arrived, and it's the most extra and dramatic dessert of all time. It's called the chocolate explosion. Extinction. Extinction. Also an explosion. It'll it'll be an explosion of flavor. In my mouth, explosion. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's four pieces of brownie cake, ice cream with caramel, chocolate, and Butterfinger. And then they put this thrilling dry ice display in the middle to really class it up. Yeah. Wow. This is so gooey. I, oh, there's whipped cream on there. I love Butterfinger. So I'm excited to get a little of that. All right. Okay, that's good. Best thing we've eaten today. Credit where credit is due, T-Rex. Yeah, it's very, um, like, dense. And typically, I, I'm not a big chocolate cake fan, but I do like a brownie. So this is actually doing it for me more than a normal chocolate cake would because it's primarily brownie. And it's rich, definitely, but the ice cream with a little bit of the crunch from the Butterfinger is helping. So when you think that happens, is that about every 10 to 15 minutes, a meteor shower hits. Are you concerned? Um, yes. I'm this is how the dinos die. But we can bring them back, remember? Yeah, that's true. I'm no longer concerned. 
This is why we shouldn't have brought the dinosaurs back. Shouldn't have. We angered Mother Nature. But I, I, this is good. It's, it's, it's just as good in a, in a meteor shower. If not better. Also, can I just say, these scoops of ice cream are the fairest ever. I love a lot of ice cream in relation to whatever else I'm eating, and these are massive scoops of ice cream to go with your massive brownie cake slices, of which there are four. You yeah. could share this with four people yeah. easily with two kids. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh -huh. No Disney dining experience would be complete without an entire merchandise shop. Including Build a Dino Experience by Build-A-Bear Workshop. Uh, I'll let you draw conclusions there, but no I won't. You do get to build a dino, just like you would at a Build-A-Bear Workshop. And that means picking out your little dino, stuffing him with love, giving him a sweet modern outfit like those dinosaurs like to wear. If you were gonna make a dinosaur for me, which one would you get me? This guy, because oh. he kind of looks like a shark that flies. Oh, okay, I like that answer. If I... you were gonna do one for me, I think this guy right next to him, because oh. he's already ready to go on an adventure with this guy, but yeah. he's also green like your friend Shrek. I appreciate this, and I like him. While none of this is official Disney merchandise, and I'm very of the mindset that if you're in Disney World, you should buy Disney souvenirs. If you have a dinosaur loving child, you may not escape this store without something in your arms. The dinosaur gift shop in Animal Kingdom is good, but I think there's more dinosaur merch going on here. Yeah. The one in Jurassic Park is pretty good over That's at Universal. That's over in Universal. That one's, that one's pretty good. We're exploring Ooh. now. Oh, look at this one. Hello. How, sir. Oh. His eyes. They do not go the same direction. They, oh. they are haunting. They heard you. I'm sorry, don't eat me if you can yeah. even see me. Which I you can't because I'm standing still. He has a big head. And the horns. Name the movie. Wow. I don't. Oh, he's mad. Oh. I think oh. he's burping. He just has gas. Yeah, did you have the pasta? He had the chocolate extinction. Oh, okay. Oh, he's waving. Oh. If you were in any other city in the world, this might be, like, the novelty of having robot dinosaurs would be very fun at a restaurant. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But you're in Orlando, Florida. There are so many robot dinosaurs here. Yeah, you've got Dinosaur. You've got Jurassic Park. You've got Velocicoaster. All of these dinosaur robots are exponentially better. Literally in the bar area, there's actual fish and stuff, which is cool. I wish we would sit at this table that has the giant jellyfish. Want Yeah, I wish we were sitting there. Oh, okay. Now this, now we're entering the Forbidden Forest. Wrong franchise. Fern Forest. Hello. Hell, look, another baby. I think what's haunting me about these are the eyes. T-Rex definitely has a demographic they're geared towards, usually kids that love dinosaurs, definitely more of a family experience. The food is gonna be a typical American chain restaurant. They're gonna have pastas, burgers, salads, sandwiches. Hello, little baby. Ah, it's Hello. talking. Hi. We don't want to make your mom mad, but it's nice to meet you. Hi. Woolly mammoths aren't really my area of expertise. So as you can see, there's several rooms, all with different dinosaur animatronics. Here we've got the actual grill going. Ooh, the ice cave is pink now. Like, there are a lot of bugs. And I, I feel as though that part wasn't necessary to build. No. Assassin bug. <laughs> it's huge. I hope yeah, that's not how big I, those were. Well, Ian, yes, Alan. we had our delicious meal at T-Rex. You sure did. And it was it was pretty good. It was a fun experience. Yeah, it was definitely a fun experience. Yes. Appetizers were good. 
the entree, a uh, little half for us. But the dessert was a surprise. Surprisingly good. A surprise and delight, and the drinks were fine as well. Yeah. So, so. my main thing with T-Rex and Rainforest Cafe is that they are expensive. And again, you're in Disney Springs, there's so much better food that you could get in Disney Springs. So if you're coming to T-Rex for the food, I wouldn't. <laughs> However, if you have a little kid who loves dinosaurs, then dining among dinosaurs and woolly mammoths and giant octopuses high that move and asteroids falling down around you, very exciting, and that's what you're paying for. You're paying for the experience more than the food. Absolutely. If no one in your party really cares about robot dinosaurs, then T-Rex might be a skip while you're in Disney World. Absolutely agree. So let us know if you've been to T-Rex <laughs> in the comments what your thoughts were. Overall, I had fun. I'm, I'm glad we went on this adventure together, but not somewhere I need to visit again. No, it's, I'm glad that we got to show it to you guys, but it was, it was, it was a good night. <laughs> And the only night that needs to be spent that way. Yeah. Let us know if you've been to T-Rex, what your experiences are down in the comments. What other restaurants do you want to see reviewed? Let us know that as well. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. You can hit a notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. Make sure to follow us on social media at Alt Ears Net. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alan Grant. And I'm Dr. Ian Malcolm. Just kidding, I'm Molly. And I'm Quincy. And see you next we'll see time. You next Bye. Bye. Hey, it's Molly here. Want to see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also, ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.